how can I add a text behind me in CapCut? In few steps, maybe one or two or three. Very easy steps. You have a project in the timeline. Now, first thing you need to do, I'll, I'll show you what you need to do first. You have to add the text so we can see what's the option affecting here. Go to add any text you want. Let's say add this text. I'm adding a heat tech media. Now this is our text here. You can arrange it and type it the way you want it. You can arrange it here. Okay. Now we take a duplication of uh, or before that. So let me just show you what you need to do here because you can move the layers the way you want on the timeline. You need to enable this option, arrange layers. Here you can modify it and click this on and save it. And this way we'll duplicate this video and we'll paste it. Now in this way we can arrange it any way you want it. Now we keep the text in between and we take the one in the top and go to the remove background and auto remove. We'll take the text on the So I can see here now the text is coming behind me. How can I add a text? Behind me. Very easy. So you can do your animation, whatever you want to do on your text, freely now. Very easy steps. This way I'm the same tool of keeping something behind. We can also keep a background. You remove this background and keep other background, like any photo or anything else. Or if you have any scene with a green screen or other color, you can also remove that background, keep something else, or just remove the background and use it. This is the main scene we have here. We can have the background added here on the top for this and drag it up to the top. Then duplicate this as we did before. The same scene, just take it at the top of this photo. Now this photo in the middle. Now take this one and remove the background as we did before. I will take a little bit of processing, but this is now the background. So we are in the same tool of keeping something behind. We can also now when you have this green screen of anything, maybe you're taking for yourself or anything else, you want to remove the green screen. Then you can just click on this scene and go to the remove it and call chroma key. Select the color you want to remove. And here you can control the intensity and when we start to remove for you the editing green and play with the shadow a little bit and then just is the way that that green thing will not show as you can see here it's not perfect but depends on the what kind of scenes you have as you can see so you have a, a moved background Perfectly. You can also blur your background using also the same tool. How we can do that? Now we can blur this background by doing the same thing by duplicating this. Copy it and paste. Now we have to move, uh, do the removal of the background here. Using the auto removal. And you can use the effects on the lens. Go to the blur uh, effect. You can drag it here and keep it on the top of this first scene this way. So we can see now here is actually blurred. You can control the intensity here. As you can see now the background is blurred. Now this will not have the same effect of the show the cameras or the feature of the cameras, but it give you the results you need. To clear uh, one face uh, in the video, uh, do you want to show in this? So how we can do it? I uh, just add another uh, layer of the video on the top this way. Now we'll add the effect of blur. 
here on the top one. Uh, on the top video, we need to go to the mask, go select a circle, and from here you play which face you want. Let's go in this. Maybe this person doesn't want to come and uh, video. Let's say this one. But now when you start the video, you can see So, the face is moving. How we can track this face? Go back to the first step and enable the key frame here on the position. Uh, once the character is moving, then we can move the layer on that face. And we keep going. This way. We don't want to like 100%, but you need to be accurate with this if you actually want to publish a video and clear the face. Uh, this is just to show you how to do it. I have to go uh, step or frame by frame to make sure it's clearly uh, blurred. You can control down the feather, of course, if you want how much the frames. Then now you have the video with a player on the face. This is one of the features on CapCut or any editing software. But here we have it, a very simple way to you do it. To speed up uh, this scene, car moving, uh, you have two ways to do it. You have the standard way, go to speed. This is standard way of 1x. You can just increase it to 2x. You can see now. All the scene from the start to the end is the one speed. You can increase it even more. What do I would like to increase to? Or oh, you do it the other way around, maybe it's like you want to slow it down. This is like slow motion. You can click this other slow motion. Frame blending or optical flow. And you can do this way. Because this is support in case if you're taking uh, the scene with more than like, uh, let's say, 60 or more frames per second to help you with the slow motion of your scenes. But now this scene is not even uh, about 30 frames. So it's not giving you very smooth uh, slow motion. The second way we can do this is by using the curves. Curves, you have this kind of curves here. You can select any of these curves. And you can see based on that, here the graph, how it moves. And it's going up here. I'm going to be speeding and going down as a slow motion. Then again, we'll go up to normal speed. This is one of the graphs of the curves that are available right here. But you also can do the own editing on these curves by selecting these points and move it around like up and top from here and there. And you control the speed on this. Curves. This way. If we did see the results here. Speeding. And slowing down. Then it will go up this way. You can do also your own custom. Here you can control it from the scratch go up and down and all that kind of speed then take it down this way just want to try it as you can see here now this is going slowing down so we got the picture here you can just use this kind of two ways to speed up your 
uh, seeing or even slow it down. YouTube is an American online video sharing and social media platform owned by Google, accessible worldwide. 7. It was launched on February 14, 2005 by Steve Chen, Chad Hurley, and Jod Kareem. Three the steps to add a commentary or a voice to your text is by adding normal text to your video. Go to the box and add the text here. Then you go to the text to speech. Select the voice you like from this collection. YouTube is I can simply remove the text and play the video. YouTube is an American online video sharing and social media platform owned by Google, accessible worldwide. CapCut providing you with the option to reduce the noise of your audio. Uh, you go to the audio options. You have the basics of course controls here. You have your normalizing the loudness. But the main thing you want to talk about is these options of enhancing your voice. If you click this, you can control how much cleanup you want to do and see what is that impact in your voice. And you can go to the second option, which is the start making it just reduce your the voice. That may continue directly and find your you your TV in address and Google. And the third option, which is vocal isolation. Here you have two options of removing the vocal. Keep maybe a music or whatever there and record it on that video. Or keep the vocal only and move everything else like noise and music, whatever is there can be removed. You can see these three options and see which is best suited for your, uh, maybe the microphone you're using or the place you're using. You can try it all and see what is actually better for you. If your device or PC is not able to process the footage you have it on this timeline, if it's heavy on your device hardware not supporting this uh, load, then you can go to the menu, go to settings, go to performance and make sure that proxy settings is checked. Then this will help you to actually process the footage with low resolution while you're editing but without losing any quality while you're exporting this. One small bonus uh, tip is like if you're already doing some editing and you can do a small or you can do a thumbnail from your video directly after you're adjusting whatever you want to add, text and photos and background and all that, you can do it here on CapCut by just clicking on this and export still frame and you can select the resolution and the type of the photo and you name it the way you want.